Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This could be my Capricorns, my Cappies. Okay, this could be for week one of May 2021. Um, for those who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Okay. Um, hmm. The energy is, um, hmm. I don't think it's questionable, but it's definitely, hmm. Things that make me go, mm. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but let's see. Capricorn week one. Capricorn week one. All right, that is your current standing position, okay? This is how somebody is feeling about you. Someone's feeling about you, Capricorn. How's someone feeling about my caps? My cappies, my cappies. Do, 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 do. Cappy. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's tricky. All right. Somebody definitely feels like they missed an opportunity with you. They're really emotional about a situation. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you don't see coming real quick. What you don't see coming, my little caps. Because right, right now, yeah, see, you're, there's a, you got some happiness coming. You got some type of wish fulfillment. I don't know if it's because you need to let something go, something wasn't moving, and you're like, toot, toot, scoot, scoot. All right, because you, you got, you got happier days coming. Well, you got some type of wish. All right, could be clarity. Um, not quite sure what you got coming at you. What's your possible outcome? I like you guys' energy, though. Okay. All right, so this week, you're, you're not putting effort into something. And I'm, like, kind of here and, like, I don't blame you. So let's see what your current past is. Um, and I know normally I'm going to go around my way. I know I would normally. I, I know how to do tarot, okay? <laughs> I'm doing it my way. It's my way. I love you guys. This energy. Okay. I swear. And I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky, I'll be there. <laughs> Somebody's like, where the fuck you going? Okay, that's a given. But what I was going to say is that this energy has been in all the other signs right now. Okay, I, I think it has a lot to do with Mercury. Just things coming back up, you know, like, hey, I know what I want. It, this isn't cutting it, okay? It, it's like, it's nice, whatever. Whatever you had was somewhat okay, all right? Because it's the Eight of Cups. You want more, all right? Um, So you walked away from a situation. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. It, to me, you're not, you're not blinded by something. You're just, right now, you're like, I'm done putting time, effort, into that type of stuff. The Tool of Pence was just reversed there. I don't know where it was coming from, though. Yeah, see, you're following your, your path, okay? So, I don't know. Somebody just maybe wasn't on the same page as you. If somebody wasn't putting in enough effort, didn't have the courage to, to get on a path, you know, um... Had a tough time getting on the same page as you. You know, um, I don't know if this is somebody who thought they were going to win, but it didn't pan out, that's for sure. So currently for my caps, let's see, currently for cappies, because it, it's almost like to me, this is not wanting to make a decision, but needing to make a decision, but being blinded about a situation and yada, 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 right? But to me, I'm feeling it as like, you know what, I'm not putting the effort in. Because somebody didn't put the effort in to something that was already existing. So tell me about this Tool of Swords for Capricorn. Tool of Swords for Capricorn. Yeah, see, this was somebody who was kind of in and out, in and out. 
I don't know if you got kids with them, if this is just somebody from your past, or this is basically saying if you're feminine, you know, take this as is, vice versa. But this is kind of saying if you're a feminine, so you were dealing with a masculine, somebody who was kind of like in and out, you shut something down. Okay. Um, they didn't want to see something. This could have been somebody who was stuck reminiscing. Okay. Stuck in a situation where there was kids. Um, but currently you're coming in as somebody who doesn't want to be in and out anymore, wants to make a decision, wants to take the blindfold off. And I, and I think it's because of this scenario where you're like, I'm out. Okay. Cause right now this is somebody, I don't know if they were dealing with something karmic, but this is somebody that now wants something to go into their favor and they're they either want to tell you something or someone else, however, this sits with you, all right, but it's all up in their feelings. This this kind of feels like a reveal. So let's just see what this is for Capricorn. This something just told me to cut to the chase. So I, I don't know what that's about. If somebody wasn't cutting to the like cut I I don't I don't know. What that's all about, Capricorn, how somebody else is feeling. Yeah, okay. So this is somebody who didn't take something on. This is somebody who didn't take a solid opportunity. Somebody who didn't want a relationship. And now all of a sudden they're like, well, you know. I will say if there was some type of relationship here, it just, it wasn't solid. It wasn't what you wanted. And it's almost like it's not what they wanted either. It, it's almost like someone was dancing around something. Because if it's like cut to the chase already, you, you're irritated in a situation. Something was not moving forward. Someone was putting no effort into something. And, and to me, you're like, I'm no longer holding back. All right, I want my happy. So you have some type of wish fulfillment coming towards you. I mean, you really do. The star and the nine of cups is a wish. It's almost like someone had something right in front of them, too. Okay, yeah, this is somebody who missed an opportunity with you that wants back in. They're kind of giving up, though. But they want this love. They they want it. They're coming for you. I don't know if you want it, but they're coming for you. To me, this is like, I'm no longer thinking about the situation. I'm just going to go. I'm going to cut the chase. I'm just going to do it. So if you were waiting on somebody, I am not a big advocate advocate for waiting troop of loops but if you were waiting on a situation or someone um someone's about to come in and cut to the chase possible outcome here this is somebody who yeah is no longer stressing out okay this is somebody who wants to put the effort into something wants to offer you something solid um This is somebody who was just thinking, 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 overanalyzing. Games. This this is really like, I'm coming in and I'm cutting to the chase. They don't know how to do it yet, though. I can tell. You don't see it coming. This person wants their wish. So I don't know if someone's a little hissy pissy. Yeah, this is somebody who's like, what was I thinking? Let's cut to the chase. So you you have something coming at you. You have a wish, a desire. You You have something coming at you. 
it could have been after you walked away from something. This is this is somebody who didn't have the strength. It got real quiet, so I don't know if it's quiet right now. Um, to me, yeah, it's just you currently walked away from a situation you weren't having it. This is somebody who was in and out. Like, you turn your back to that. But here, it's like this is somebody who's like... I mean, really, didn't want to make a situation, you know, like you guys fight over it. And it's like, what the fuck? You know, it's, it just, it wasn't moving forward. And now they're like, damn. Now they want to come in and give you that clarity. It, whatever you had was un, unstable. But now this is like fearless energy. So what does this person want to say? Or what are they feeling? We were too young. I lost myself for a little while. I don't react when people mention you. I wish I had treated you better. I was in love with you. I wish things could be different. Yeah, they they I can see that. I mean it's it's so clear. You wanted something to move and it wasn't moving. I like to move it, move it. But now this energy wants to cut to the chase. I don't know if it's just somebody you met when you were really young and they're coming back around or if you guys were already in a situationship and, you know, who knows? Or the Hierophants here reversed. There could have been a marriage here. But, and it's just, it's over. Something's being revealed. So I don't know if you were waiting on somebody. You might have been, but you're no longer. And now this is somebody that's like, all right, I want to cut to the chase. So, yeah, I could see how someone totally lost themselves in this situation. Because, honestly, it was me, 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 me. I can see it all over the board. Me, 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 me. Just kind of partying, hanging out. Not taking anything too seriously. So... You could have dropped a toxic situation. Or it looks like they dropped a toxic situation. I mean, at the end of the day, you still have, you have a good outcome. Well, this is, it, it is a good outcome, okay? It, it's, it's somebody who's like, all right, I'm going to cut to the chase. Like, I don't know what I was doing, pussyfooting around a situation. I want to come in and get what I want. And I don't know if it's like a bad thing like that. Like this is just somebody who's not going to go after what they want. They wanted you then, but they didn't want you the way maybe you wanted, if that makes sense. Capricorn, please. Just going to throw you shits and giggles. Have you eaten? Okay, you're acting like a big ass baby. So I don't know what you're doing here. All right, it's just a shits and giggles that has probably nothing to do with this. But I don't know if you're dieting, you're doing something like that, like um, do something else. All right, concentrate on your money. We make it rain, we make it rain. I normally would never clarify these, but what is this? What is this? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if someone's dieting, liquid diet. I, I don't. Definitely concentrate on your money. Something's coming in. Okay. Turn your back to whatever this is. You could just be like not. Um, because it's an additional message. This could be like. Um, you know, some people like will stress eat, and others will be like, oh, you know, I'm out, brand new me, blah 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 blah. But. I don't know if you're on a liquid diet and you got to put something more solid into you, okay? Um, and then other, I mean, this is like both, you know, have you eaten? You know, get some food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. So, and then we got money, like concentrate on your money. It's going to get real good, all right? So basically, if you're on a liquid diet, wrap that up. Put something solid in your stomach. And if this is regarding money, turn your back to whatever this is because it's petty. And concentrate on your money because you got something good coming at you. All right, y'all. 
I hope you have a fantastic week. Um, and you can find this on Patreon, the extended, every single extended I do on YouTube. Every video I do will have an extended on Patreon for $2 a week. So that's like 13 plus videos a week you're going to get. Because if I, I just happen to do a collective, I'm also going to do an extended. Okay? So I'll see you over on Patreon. I love you guys. Have a great week.